Welcome back live to Red Deer, Alberta. Women's free skate ahead, and someone who would love to be skating out there today is Susan Humphreys, who unfortunately couldn't skate here because of injury. Tell us what happened. Uh, well, basically, I had a pretty long year last year with seven major competitions and a lot of training, and I think that that just kind of took its toll. You know, not a lot, enough time off trying to push myself through it, but I think that it just kind of showed up, and I had to deal with an injury, but I'm better now. I'm getting better. The road to recovery. When will we see you back? Uh, hopefully, you will see me definitely at the Canadian Championships, but I have a few other things before that. I have to talk to you about uh, a coaching change uh, within your ranks, uh, no longer with Christy Ness. No, uh, actually, uh, we made the change about a week or two ago, just kind of something, one of those unexpected things. But I think that I just have to take this, and it's a new experience, but I think that I'll be fine, and it's probably maybe better off for me this way. All right, well, this is a different situation for you. You have to go watch. <laughs> so uh, enjoy the afternoon and uh, continued success rehabilitating your back. Thank you. Let's now go to Debbie Wilkes and Brian Orser as they set up the women's free skate. Coming into the final minutes of the six-minute warm-up, Natalie Krieg will be our first skater. Her long program coming up. She's from Switzerland. She's the girl with the spins. In the Guinness Book of Records, somehow, somewhere over the three-and-a-half-minute mark for just one spin. This is Maria Here's Kielman from Germany, who had a very uncharacteristic short program. Bit of a disaster there, and I know, I feel that she'll have a a fairly good skate tonight and she'll move up a few places that's for sure she's ranked third in the world right now with the retirement of the reigning world champion new young face for canada jennifer robinson from windsor but training at the mariposa club in barry unexpected last minute entrant after Susan Humphreys pulled out, Angie DeRoshi, also from Ottawa, is our second Canadian competitor. She'll compete later on. And, and this is Amanda Farkas, who, from the United States, has been struggling a little bit this week on practice. Uh, a very mediocre short program and uh, is sort of appearing a little tentative today. I think she just needs to relax a little bit and have a good time. A look at Amanda Farkas, first flight to come. Later, Angie DeRoshi will skate to the women's free skate when we come back. Back live at the Centrium in Red Deer, Alberta. And Natalie Krieg. She's skating first, so right now at the very end of the warm-up, she's just probably just getting her thoughts together, taking her time, catching her breath. It's horrible skating first out of the warm-up. You feel like once you step on the ice to begin that six minutes, your life is coming quickly to an end. <laughs> the order of skate, Natalie Craig skates first, Marina Kilman, then Jennifer Robinson, who will be using this as a springboard in her career. Her first major international competition, and Amanda Farkas of the United States. It takes real control, emotional and psychological control for the skaters at this point, particularly the first skater up. Everything is deadly quiet in the building. I wish they'd play music. I always used to hear in my warm-ups every edge, every toe pick, thinking, oh, I sound so loud. Of course, good skating is supposed to be real quiet. Here is the 17-year-old from Beale, Switzerland two-time Switzerland national champion. to her she's gone she's she's attempted the triples she kept very aggressive unfortunately she just she's been having trouble all season with the triples
programs will be four minutes in duration for the ladies today. Women were allowed 10 seconds on either side of that. certainly is making up for in the spins. A terrific spinner. I would say the best in the world. with having that incredible combination spin. She grew up idolizing possibly the greatest Swiss skater ever, Denise Bielman, who also one of the greatest spinners ever. They named a spin after Denise Bielman. Someday they might do the same for Natalie Craig. Her marks in a moment. Four, seven, four, marks six, for technical merit. Four, very consistent four fives four, across six. the board and then the marks for presentation four five four sixes and four point seven for our first skater she sets the standard now natalie craig our next competitor in the question will be off from germany from Deutschland, Bobby the oldest competitor in the field also one of the tallest debbie and brian marina kielman she got left out of the mix last year at Olympics when Katrina Witt came back on the German Olympic team. Marina was the one who did not make it. She did, however, compete at Worlds and finished fourth. So she has really set her sights on this year. The whole redoing of her look, the glamorizing of her has really made a big difference. She had so much trouble with in the short program, the triple Lutz. She could have used that last night. Thank you. 
Southow with the traveling three turns means the timing must be absolutely perfect or the jump gets ahead of you. I guess the question now is whether that will affect the rest of the program as it did in the short program. She seemed to be rattled when she fell. It'll be interesting to see if she will come back now with this triple flip. Championships, and you'll see some of the ending moves in this program really look like roller skating moves. perfect but it was much better than last night Marina Kielman her marks in a minute look you have got Dortmund Germany's Marina Kielman technical merit marks and presentation marks will put her in first place only the second skater of nine today in our women's free skate and i would think she will likely finish better than the eighth position she was in after the short program very excited young jennifer robinson will turn 18 in a few weeks her first our next major competition brian what was it like when you skated your first one it's exciting, it's a little overwhelming. You take a look at that competitor's list, and you think, wow, some of these people are world medalists, Olympic team members, and it's exciting. It's quite a learning experience. She trains in Barrie at the Mariposa Club. Coach is Doug Lee. Her hometown is in Windsor. And here is the current Canadian junior champion. a kind of a classiness on the ice that I think sets her quite apart from many other competitors. competition before she chose to do a double probably a wise move at this stage
25 seconds of the program. It's at this point where every skater, their desire really shows you push to get to the end. She'll never forget this day. Coach Doug Lee, choreographer Michelle Lee, Jennifer Robinson. The future ahead and her marks in a moment. Her first big test, Debbie and Brian, and she passed. With flying colors. Her first element was the triple sabka double toe. Right at the very beginning of the program, she has been two-footing some of these landings. It just means she needs to be a little higher in the air. There's the two-foot right there. Very positive experience for her here, though. What will her coaches say to her now, Debbie and Brian, as we look at the marks for technical merit? Good warm-up for Canadians. She's got to make the big move to senior this year. Presentation marks. And she is currently second behind Marina Kielman, with six skaters still to come. Marina Kielman, with six skaters still to come. Including... 19-year-old Amanda Farkas from the United States.
triple plan, triple toe loop. It's got to be a little scary going into it after two major falls already. Turn it into a double. competitor to do is to stop your head from thinking you get impatient you start to push things things that you normally do so easily all of a sudden become very difficult and as your impatience increases your body doesn't get the chance to do what it's been trained to do she was 10th at the United States Nationals in Detroit in 1994. Amanda Farkas of the U.S. We'll have her marks in a minute. Amanda Farkas with her coach Peter Burroughs. Both of them pretty disappointed. This is one of the triple jumps that she had trouble with, the triple sow cow. She took off, she, her sh shoulder was leaning from the takeoff, and she just maintained that same angle, that same lean in the air. And unfortunately, you just can't hold an edge when that happens. Four, eight, four, eight, four, seven, four, the marks for technical merit and for presentation will leave her in third place. Marina Kielman in first, Jennifer Robinson second, Farkas, and then Natalie Krieg, and we still have four skaters five skaters still to come in the final flight stay tuned for that and when we come back we'll talk to Jennifer Robinson about her debut at Sun Life Skate Canada International back in the centrium in Red Deer Alberta awaiting the final flight final five skaters the women's free skate this afternoon and a young woman with a perma smile. She just said, uh, Jennifer Robinson, very happy with what you did today. Yes, I'm very pleased with uh, the long program. Um, I came back from the short. Um, I was pretty happy with the short, but now I'm even happier with the long. Not bad considering you were a last minute addition to this field. You found out about this? Uh, last Monday, actually, just a week ago. What did you feel when you, when you heard that you were gonna come to your first major international competition? You're the current junior champion butterflies I'm sure but at the same time did you anticipate this being a very good experience along the road to your future yeah we were counting on a lot of experience for this um, when I first found out I was pretty ecstatic I was with uh, some good friends and I was just overall totally happy <laughs> I want to ask you before we go to break about the final moments of your program and, and what was going through your head um, just I'm done I feel good and in the warm-up I fell on that spin and then I stood up on the, in the competition, so I was pretty happy with that, too. Now, you have almost two hometowns, Barrie, because you're trained there, and Windsor. And I know you have a lot of people to say hi to. We'll give you that chance right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'd like to say hi to my mom, my dad, my brother, Jason, um, Shane, their parents, and my parents, everybody in Windsor, and Barry and Bonnie, and Tal, and Mike, and... Um, and Anybody Every, else? <laughs> everybody in Canada I, that I haven't said hi to yet. <laughs> They're very happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Jennifer Robinson. And still to come today, the women's final flight. And the other Canadian in the field, Angela DeRoshi. When we come back, the final five skaters of the women's free skate. Back at the warm-up live in Red Deer, the final group of five women to compete in the women's free skate final Alma Lapina I think the person that got ripped off in the short program for my money the only person who did a clean one and she ended up way down the pack somewhere so she's going to be trying to sock it all to them this time this is Christina Zaka from Hungary Ladies, speaking of sock it to them she she's a powerhouse a terrific jumper very focused, and I'm expecting and anticipating a good performance from her this evening. Sitting in second place right now. And our second Canadian hopeful already off the ice, Angie DeRoshi of Ottawa, had a strong warm-up. And two other skaters rounding out the field, Letitia Hubert and Jessica Mills of the U.S. Our next competitor, notre prochaine concurrent from Latvia, de la Latvie, Alma Lepina. 
Alma Lapina and Debbie you mentioned uh, she was way down the list last night she had two first place ordinals from two judges that's what makes it so difficult when there were so many falls it it makes a consensus among the judges very difficult so all of these judging rules come into place and unfortunately she was the one that lost out of a skater starting element the double axle the slow part to come up so you can just start to refocus and reframe collect your thoughts there we go Remember too, the difference between the long program and the short program, besides the different length and time, is that there are no deductions for falls or misses. What happens is that the base mark is just lower to begin with. hysteria quite often the, the the errors just seem to snowball one after the other compound compounded by fear and terror it's a shame not a great evening or afternoon for alma it also could be part and parcel of what she has been complaining about this week, and that is jet lag. We'll find out the judge's decision after this. Four, three, four, Marks seven, for technical four, merit six, for Emma Lapina. Four, 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 five, Had a terrific short four, program. Five. She felt like she was skating on somebody else's Marks legs today. 
The marks for presentation. These marks will leave her in fourth position. Marina Kilman still leads. Jennifer Robinson is second. Four skaters still to come. Our next competitor, Russian champion from Hungary, de la Hungary, Christina Chaco. Only 15 years old, will be turning 16. December 17th, part of that teenage wave in women's skating, Christina Zako of Hungary. She can do it, too. If she has a good program to skate today, she could definitely make a move on the leader, Leticia Hubert. But Christina is still fighting for consistency with the triple jumps. First jump is a triple lutz, double toe loop combination. Change to a triple toe by the looks of things. She certainly has. And now the triple lutz. She fooled us. Wow, right on the money. cuts like this that you can see the skater starting to think. It's a very successful first section of the program and what you have to do now is just ride that wave right to the end. so far. If Christina skates according to plan, she has one more attack on the triple lutz coming up. chance of fall now. One thing I can't really help but think is if you took out all of the jumps, what is left? And in my, um, my feeling is that there's really not much left. There's not great choreography, not great selection of music. You know, it's a good thing that she can jump. We'll see if she can jump onto the medal podium. Second after the short program. 
Three skaters to come. The Hungarians marks in just a moment. The leader, Marina Kilman, is now a spectator. And when we come back, Canadian Angela DeRoshi will skate. Good enough marks for technical merit as you look at Christina Zako along with her dad, her coach, Georgi, a former national champion from Hungary, and marks for presentation. One low mark there from the Canadian judge, maybe concurring with what you said, Brian. First place, Christina Zako, three skaters to come. If Jennifer Robinson was pumped up, so should Angela DeRoshi. Former Canadian junior champion, competed in Skate America, and now on her home ice at Skate Canada. Triple total, much needed. She needs to do more than one triple in order to move up the ladder, possibly into the medals. Fatigue is getting to her. The lactic acid is building up in your legs at this point. And that's just from doing lack of run-throughs when you're at home getting ready for these events and being prepared for the bit of altitude that we have here.
fourth after the short program. Where will she be in the judges' eyes when we come back? The leader is Hungary's Christina Zako with her good luck monkey. Her dad behind us, behind her as well. And still the skate. Leticia Uber, the leader after the short program. Angie Jiroshi. It's all about growth and experience, this competition. The one triple she did do was a triple toe loop. Nice height and nice ease to it. But that was the only one. It's a disappointment, and you, you can never really understand where the triples go to. Where does that extra rotation it goes on holiday or sabbatical or something? You want to go back out and do the program again. And when you let down the audience and the judges, that affects both marks, the technical and the presentation. Her marks combined, however, will leave her right now in second position. Behind Christina Zacco, and a chance to make it to the podium. Past champions at Sun Life Skate Canada, Lu Chen, Maria Buterskaya, Surya Bonnelly, Jose Schmenard, Christy Yamaguchi. Pretty good honor roll, I'd say. A few good names. <laughs> And maybe this person, Leticia Hubert of France. She was first after this short program. You may recognize the music to Les Mis, a very popular one for skaters. Costume reflecting the mood of that wonderful musical. That double flip was to have been a triple. Is this the door she has opened for Christina Zacco to move into first? Gorgeous back outside spiral. There we have it, a triple toe, double toe combination. Her first triple of the evening.
triple sound count. Letitia knows that even though she won the short program, that is no guarantee that the title is in the bag. She really, I think, has lost it to Christina Zacco, the person who wins the long program out of the top three skaters after the short will win the title. She had two triples in her program. Christina Zacco had five. Will it come down to presentation, perhaps? The judges are busy working. One skater to come, Letitia's marks in 60 seconds. 17th at the Winter Olympic Games. First after the short program here in Red Deer. What did you think, Debbie and Brian? On the triple loop here, she seemed to, she got off on an angle right there. Her right shoulder was down. She just kept that same angle all the way through. And you cannot, you cannot hold the edge like that. Oh, yeah, and I think, although, Rod, you brought up a good point of artistically, is this a superior program than Zacco's? I thought they were both packed full of plain cross cuts, not much originality, very little footwork. Uh, so it becomes a triple jump contest. And for my money, if that's what we're judging, the title has to go to Zacco. Four, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five, Technical one. merit marks do five, not look three, like first place five, marks. In fact, she may have a tough time Nine, slipping four, into second, four, four, but I think presentation will be more than enough. Five, zero, five, four, and Letitia Hubert is in three, second position. Five, Christina three, Zacco five, is the leader. Look at the ordinals here. The rankings from the judges. A hodgepodge. Makes judging an event very difficult because there is there are so many factors to consider. It's so much better when everybody skates their best. This is the skater who could put a, a further problem into the final decision. Jessica Mills from the U.S. Last skater with the chance at the podium. Jessica a lot. She's got a, a real attack to her skating. She's being very aggressive and very sure of herself. She's skating to the music. Triple Lutz, she could have won this competition. Disappointed that 
she didn't keep the same attack that she started with. I had a real good feeling that she was going to keep that going right through the entire program. This middle section, she's left out some triples and done some doubles. That will definitely have a big effect on her technical mark. Presentation is beautiful. After this short program, Jessica Mills just may have herself a medal at the 94 Sun Life Skate Canada International. It was a beautiful program done with some, some lovely flair, very musical. She had a sense of style and presence. I felt like there was much more than the jumps. And I think the judges were kind of waiting for a total package. And, and this could have been it. This could have been it. Had she done the triple lutz, maybe the triple flip. It could have been hers. She's coached by Gordy McKellen, former U.S. national champion, one of the greatest showmen that ever competed. She would be ranked fairly high, I would think, right now in the U.S. Michelle Kwan would be number one, I would think. This is the triple toe lift right here for, at the beginning of the program, which is a nice ease to it. She just floated through both of those jumps without any effort at all. Nice quality. This is the double axle jump. She came down a little forward on the landing. Had to stop herself with her hands. Good opportunity for Jessica Mills in the United States now with Nancy Kerrigan off to the professional ranks. Tanya Harding, who knows where. Michelle Kwan, now the young skater in the U.S. that everyone's looking to. And, and Jesse Mills. And there's our leader, and I would think our champion, Christina Zacco. Her first major international championship should be confirmed in just a few moments as we look at the marks for technical merit, Deb. Again, all over the board, a lot of... Differing opinions. Presentation mark, second set of marks. Again, mixed feelings there, but good enough for Jessica Mills. She stays third. She will win the bronze medal here in Red Deer, Alberta. Leticia Hubert will take the silver. And our champion, Christina Zacco of Hungary. There she is, along with her father to the right, the former champion himself, and now her coach. And her mom to the left, her choreographer. Five triple jumps, and Christina Zacco makes the biggest jump of her career. A big win in Red Deer. The Sun Life Skate Canada champion, Christina Zacco, Leticia Hubert, the leader after the short program is second, Jessica Mills of the United States third, Marina Kielman fourth, Angela DeRoshi fifth, and then Jennifer Robinson. What a big boost to her young career. Sixth position, Amanda Farkas, Alma Lapina, and Natalie Craig is ninth. Our champion is with me now, and your English is better than my Hungarian, so... <laughs> Congratulations, how do you feel? Very good. <laughs> I've never feel like this. This is obviously your biggest win, your best competition. Tell me about your skate today, your five triple jumps. Oh, I have never uh, done this. Just today, first time, and I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> your family's happy too. Your dad's here, uh, he, you know what it's like as a champion, uh, tell me about Christina's development. You're very young still, and, and where you would like to go. Where would you like to see Christina go? Um, I would like uh, Christina 
uh, to go to the Europe, European Championship and the World Championship this year in Dortmund and in Birmingham and uh, to have a good result over there. Have you had a good time in Canada too in Red Deer? Yes, here it was very nice. Everything was so nice and the people was and nice and everything. So it's very good here. I feel me good here. Well, you should. You skated brilliantly today. Congratulations to you and all the best in the future to you and your family. Thank you very much. Christina Zacco, the Sun Life Skate Canada International Champion of 1994. Today in Red Deer, she stood the tallest. Soon to be 16 years old, the future looking brighter than ever. And welcome back to Red Deer, Alberta. The week began with some snowfall here and a little frigid conditions, but outside today, it's beautiful here in Red Deer. An excellent weekend and an excellent weekend to be indoors and watching skating for all of you watching across Canada today. We saw one of the young rising stars. We'll be seeing her in Nagano, Japan, I am sure. In Lillehammer, uh, she surprised a lot of people as well with her performance there, making a name for herself. But Debbie and Brian, I would think in four years' time in Japan, you're going to hear a lot about Christina Zacco. I couldn't agree more. The jumps are amazing. She has that terrific air sense, which every skater dreams about. I think now she needs to work on choreography and getting some of the performance qualities down. Let's, let's toughen up some of the steps, make it a little more interesting. And pay attention to detail because she's got the goods now. The spins, the jumps are all fine. That's usually the hardest thing to get. So now she just needs to have a really great package music, costuming, choreography, and then she'll be all set. I heard you say at one point that you'd like to put a tape together and send to her as far as mu musical suggestions. I think you should I, do it. I think it's a good idea, actually, and probably some ideas with choreography, but, you know, she's, got, she's a raw talent. She is indeed. And that's really good to see. And speaking of raw talent, one of my highlights of the evening is watching Jennifer Robinson. It's, it's encouraging to see that someone that is just coming from the junior ranks First time in senior coming to such a great event such as Star um, Skate Canada. Skate Canada. It's uh, terrific for her. It's encouraging to see the raw talent at that level. I think so too. And, and congratulations to Angie DeRoshi too, who both skaters coming in at the very last minute makes it awful tough. Your, your nerves and the adrenaline starts to pump in the body. So, you know, I'm very proud of them and I know the rest of Canada is too. Rod, your thoughts? Well, Christina Zacco on her. Uh portfolio in her resume she said her skating heroes include Jose Schwenard and Brian Orser Brian uh, comment on that I mean she's got great she's got good taste in heroes anyways well you know what Rod those <laughs> kids will they will say anything to get a free CTV hat <laughs> <laughs> all right Brian and Debbie will be back later tonight uh, with the men's free skate be with us tonight Nine o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock Mountain, six o'clock Pacific, men's free skate. Elvis today working on his quad toe as well. You will try, he will put that into his program tonight. A look back, uh, his new program, his long program, is all about discovery. A tribute to Christopher Columbus. That was earlier today, the quad toe. He landed it there. We'll see if he can land it tonight. Others you will watch tonight, other Canadians, Jeffrey Langdon, who trains alongside with Elvis Stoiko, Sebastian Britton, who went to the Lillehammer Winter Games, Dmitry Dimitrenko of Ukraine, one of the challengers to the new commander of the new fleet in skating. And also on ice next week on CTV, uh, no NHL these days, but the four-on-four -four challenge in support of Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. There will be hockey next week on CTV, Thursday, 8 to 10, Saturday 3 to 5 and 9 to 11 the 4 on 4 challenge and also we're going to resurrect showdown the shootout will be back the 4 on 4 challenge the shootout today in Red Deer featured Jesse Mills the bronze medalist silver Leticia Hubert of France And goal today, Christina Zacco. You'll be hearing a lot more about this young Hungarian. We'll see you later tonight from Red Deer.